Okay, so this is going to be a, a Gemini Sun, Moon, and as well a Gemini Rising. Uh, monthly general tarot reading February 2020 and uh, in case any of you guys want to get in touch with me for a uh, for a personal read you can check out the description down below and uh, there you are going to find a link to my uh, to my website so that being said this is going to be an eight card uh, tarot spread and the very first card which shows the topic of your uh, month here gemini is going to be uh, the star card for what it seems followed by the next one which is oh my god i mean what in the world so we do have the two of cups as the topic uh, as the energies that are feeding the topic and there is no mistake we are talking uh, about a relationship topic here, okay? Because the star card could touch, could touch any kind of topic, but the energies, there is no mistaking it. We have a relationship topic on our hand. All right, so next one, it is the challenge uh, for you guys, and that will be uh, the tree of wands. So we are talking, uh, the ace of wands. So we are talking about most likely a new relationship coming around followed by the next one which is the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the month that is to be the strength card afterwards very important one this is how oh my god guys <laughs> this is how other people are gonna see you or more more precisely here is how this one coming here is gonna see you okay and that will be the, the ace of pentacles and um uh, it's uh, it's the perfect combo to be honest. So next one it is um, referring to what can uh, improve your circumstances. No surprise here for of once. I mean throughout the month, what you can do in order to improve your circumstances throughout the month. That is going to be the four of wands. Followed by the next one, which is what can deteriorate your circumstances, or in this case, who can deteriorate. You? can deteriorate your circumstances we do have the king of swords and finally at the end it is the guidance that taro is offering and that will be the queen of cups this is no surprise whatsoever that we do have such kind of a card here oh my so uh gemini it's all about uh, how you are going to um capitalize and manifest on the unfolding love that comes in your way guys i mean like I said there is no mistake in it here we do have the energies of the two of cups which are talking exactly about that how two people or the love that it is emerging in between two people now don't be afraid if you don't have anybody around that card could signifies as an energy that the energies are going to lead if you will the right one around okay but i don't like to say it that way because there are more than just the right one of the right one okay it's all about a personal preferences and i can't give a good example with other people i can give a good example with myself but for me the right one is someone who likes to live in peace and someone who is not going to judge me about anything that I do. And it is someone that is just, you know, giving me freedom. That is the right one for me. And there are many of women that can give me that. Okay. So that, that is just for an, for a, an, an example. So I would say it that way, the, a person in case you are single or in case you have no one that, uh, you know, you show interest in and so on and so forth. Or no one that shows interest in you. It's someone that fits perfectly with the traits you want is going to come around. That is in case you're single. But you are uh, the energies here throughout the month for you, Gemini, are going to um, amplify the uh, the emotional connection i would say it that way and the love you're seeking around you so that being said should you be honest in truth uh, and true to yourself that for example you're feeling unhappy when you're not emotionally connected that you like someone and so on and so forth because the card points that you're also going to overcome your pride you're going to overcome your shyness if you will and you're just gonna admit it okay whenever that person come around or in case that person it is around you are going to do it and that itself is going to provoke the topic and the topic it is about a long-term um 
I would say enterprise or endeavor or in this case relationship, okay, a long-term relationship that is accompanied with unconditional support. It's, un it's accompanied with unfolding love. It's accompanied with high ideals and high standards, but not because uh, you are, for example, uh, uh, not from this world, but because the high ideals and the high standards completely um, resemble what you are expecting and that's why they are high ideals and high standards it's not like it's something that is beyond this world okay it could be something simple but it is what you want and you are gonna have it throughout this month now as this is general reading i said that it's mostly going to resemble a, a love situation in between you and your suitor your husband or a wife you know and your partner in general but maybe there are people who does not concern themselves with love okay it's something that they completely deny of so maybe they are seeking for a, a professional more kind of like oriented reading and i'm gonna say it just here and then we are continuing with the love topic it is that according to those two cards if we take them as a career reading they point that because uh, your environment at work is going to be so undemanding and it's kind of like um it will predispose the whole situation for you to go for a great things to finally for example tackle that really uh, complex and difficult project say or uh, that finally you're gonna have the chance to shine there and to show what you truly are capable of while up until this moment you had certain uh, say blockages from this person or from that person rendering, uh, rendering you incapable to truly show your limits, your capabilities and what you truly can create in the company or the firm you're working for or the business that you're working for. But once again, I do suspect that for the 95% of you guys, Geminis, we are talking about unfulfilled love that is going to be fulfilled throughout the month of February. Now, next one is going to be the challenges, and uh, that will be the Ace of Wands. Now, I when I was uh, drawing the cards, I said we're talking about a new one for most of the cases. Now, here, the Ace of Wands as a challenge, it just points that uh, you are going to be resentful of giving it a go for one or another reason. And I will tell you because it's about the... Um, it's unpredictable cause. Now, don't get me uh, wrong. Now, the Ace of Wands points that whatever opportunity to experience love that this month is going to present you, either with a new person or with someone that you're trying to, to, to fit the things around, uh, is going to look a very, very um, not uh, um, gainingful. Okay. Now, the problem, however, here with the challenge, it is what happens next. I mean, how we are to, for example, live together if we are living in a separate countries. Okay. How we are to do it if we do have, for example, children that cannot stand each other and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like you are going to, that is the challenge here, not to, of, um, how can I say it, go ahead of yourself. Okay. But it's just, you need to focus on what it is right now. And in that particular case, for example, what it is right now, it is that you do love each other. That is all that it is matter, okay? That it is all that matters and you have to work with it moving forward into the future. And yeah, challenging is going to be for you to accept that this new chance to make the things out with your suitor, with your ex-girlfriend or with your ex-boyfriend, with your husband or a wife or with someone brand new, is actually gaining full thing and even if you can't predict what is going to happen two weeks from now that should not be a prerequisite for you to bail on it as a matter of fact the whole situation the whole thing is going to put you uh, not with your back against the wall but it's kind of like it's going to throw you out from your comfort zone if you will and it will force you to do things or rather to experience things that you have not experienced up until this moment and uh, you are gonna like it okay so you should not be afraid of what cannot be predicted or rather like of the unseen if you will but rather give yourself to it completely once again this month will call for you to drop your shyness pride and hesitance on the shelf and move forward with 
your pure instincts and with your pure emotions, with your pure feelings, and whatever has to happen is to happen. And according to the star card at the topic of the of the month, it doesn't look like that bad things are to happen. As a matter of fact, only good things are to happen to you. Uh, Gemini. So next one is going to be uh, the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the month. Uh, we do have the strength card and uh, it, this card does point that only thing you have to do, the hard part of the whole endeavor, is to just admit it to yourself that this is what you needed and just give it a go. That will be the hard part because afterwards it's going to be like a snowball, like an avalanche. One thing happened after another that is just going to amplify more and more your enthusiasm. So that is the gift and the blessing that you can enjoy here, the enthusiasm and the not the awareness, but the confidence that you have done the right thing. Because this is what the strength card in that case is all about. You know, it is not all about what other people want. It is not our all about about how other people see you, okay? It is all about how the person you wanna be with wants from you and from the whole endeavor in between you two and uh, you know what you want from it as well. And uh, with that particular case, the strength card here points that you are gonna be gifted with the strength to persevere through the patience that it is needed here to develop the whole thing and as well you are going to be gifted with the self-confidence not to feel obliged to explain yourself constantly for example to your family why you chose that person or why you chose that job okay or to your friends as well uh, say you are kind of like uh, making a reconciliation of a relationship that end up badly and they are saying you are you out of your mind i mean that person that person hurt you so bad and so on and so forth and you're not gonna feel yourself um, once again obliged to explain them why you want it you just will know that you want it and you will have the confidence to know that this is your thing okay this is I don't want to say everything you have ever wanted, but in the same time, it will be the thing that you most want at that particular point. So next one, it is how other people are going to see you, or most importantly, how this person that you are going to have a cooperation with, one way or another, is going to see you here, and that will be the Ace of Pentacles lookout, okay? So Ace of Pentacles, well, there is only one way to describe that card in this particular case. This person that will fall for you is seeing you as once again D1. Because the Ace of Pentacles, it is always about the thing you need in order to proceed with your life, most successfully in your life, okay? So this person that is falling for you, it will see only you. It's like a, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but as a perfection, say that way, okay? As a culmination of everything that they, that they have ever wanted for your partner, into a relationship, for your partner, for business as well. And that is as well um, applying to those who are caring only for business. You start a job somewhere and the uh, management will see you just as the right fit for what they need in order that company to grow or this project to be done as well. And that itself, it will help you so much to be successful into your business or it's gonna help you so much to maintain this harmony and really emotional flow into the relationship that you are forming into the month of uh, February. It's really, really beautiful month for you. Um, Gemini and it will be a shame guys once again if you don't give it a go because this is where everything can end all right you see that this could happen and wait a minute then okay so we are going to end up together tomorrow say and what happens next I mean how we are supposed to do it do not focus or, or how we are supposed to pull it through do not focus on that Take it as, for example, Romeo and Juliet, okay? So they love each other, even though they don't know how it's gonna happen. Well, well, then they end up tragically, but you know, nothing is carved in stones, nothing is thrown and cast in them as well. So uh, have faith, and according to these cards, you're gonna find your way through, all right? Uh, it's just, it is how it's written here with the star card, ultimately at the end, um, 
this cooperation, emotional cooperation, will end up flawlessly for both of you. So next one, it is uh, what can help your long-term goal. And we do have the four of wands. And it is just conceal it, okay? Uh, it's, uh, I don't know if I'm using the right word here, but when we do have the four of wands, you have it throughout the month, you have to secure it throughout the month. That it is what is going to improve drastically your circumstances, all right? So you meet the person that falls for you, you fought for them, you fall for them, and it is, it is just you need to secure that person for yourself by, you know, making a relationship with them. Same thing goes career-wise as well. It is kind of like closing the chapter throughout the months, reaching that cycle of development. And cycle of development does not mean ending. Cycle of development it is like, you know, you start dating, the dating ends and you end up together. That is a, a development. Because in my book, dating and being in a relationship are two different things, okay? So it's like securing the very initial stage and traversing into the next one. And all that in the framework of the February 2020. Uh, because uh, this card points that you are also going to be aware of everything that is going on with this person you, you are going to have to cooperate with. Okay, It doesn't look like that you are going to miss even the minor detail. And even more importantly here, you are going to be fully aware of the important matters that are surrounding the situation in between you two, love-wise and career-wise as well. And nothing is stopping you to pretty much, you know, close that chapter and move to the next one with them. Only thing that may, that may obstruct you of doing it, it is not having the guts to do it, okay? So, uh, next one is going to be um, what is going to hurt your improvement of circumstances, what is going to deteriorate your improvement of circumstances. And that is a person, King of Swords. Now, these people, they do not care for anybody, all right? For one or another reason, that people, that person needs you with a sharp mind. That person needs you to serve their purpose. And going for a, for a relationship or for a job or for something else, it kind of like detaches you from their purpose. And they are going to, well, I would say it that way, they are going to try to play around with the circumstances verbally that is. So in other words, this person will try to present that what you're going for, the love or the succession into career, is something bad right now. And the only way for you moving forward, it is with them, okay? And they're going to give you proof after proof for that. But don't forget what we had beforehand. We do have the strength. You are going to have the strength to persevere through it, okay? And also the uh, self-confidence, not feeling obliged to explain yourself or anything. So uh, it is, uh, their efforts are, seeming, uh, are seemingly doomed to succeed uh, towards you in this uh, particular month. But one or the other way, some of you guys may kind of actually budge under the pressure of uh, the uh, King of Swords because they are very tenacious. I mean, they don't give up very easily. And that is a, a person who right now in the month of January, they have certain power over you. I mean, they are calling certain shots that regards to you as well. And by you jumping into this newfound relationship or you jumping into the new job uh, or uh, starting the new project is kind of like weak in those kind of positions they have towards you. And just to give you an example of it, to make it a little bit more clear, clear say that is uh, your father and you are living in the family home and now you are meeting that wonderful woman and you have plans to start living together. Detaching from the family home is going to severely hurt uh, the um, the future plans of your father say, and he's trying to convince you that what you are doing is wrong, okay, while it isn't. So that kind of an, a, a manifestation in your life has, um, throughout the months of February, has that uh, person, King of Swords, and they can be very, very convincing. And finally, at the end, we do have the guidance that Taro is offering, that is the Queen of Cups. And it just tells us uh, only a couple of things, really. Uh, what is important for you throughout the month of February, Gemini, is first, 
So have patience. Nothing happens overnight, okay? And you need to give it a time. And the second thing, it is that you need to follow the, um, or kind of like nurture, excuse me, the feelings of your heart. So whatever you feel, it's true. And you need to recognize it. Only this way, you are going to find yourself transformed into something better. So that being said, Gemini, this was your a, a monthly tarot reading, February 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, as much as I did. And uh, we're going to see each other uh, around. Until then, bye.